The spanner on the balcony of the Ukrainian Week office in central Kyiv is no longer needed. It was hung here in support of the magazine's Donetsk reporter. In June 2017, Stanislav Asayev was kidnapped by the Russian-controlled forces in occupied Donetsk, then accused of espionage and sentenced to 15 years in prison. Asayev was released as part of a prisoner swap between Ukraine and Russia just before New Year's Eve. Now the reporters in Kyiv to take down the banner personally. Holding the banner, now signed, Asayev comes out to the media along with the magazine's editor-in-chief. The reporter admits he is still struggling to believe he is free at last. I'm still coming to grips with this. As I said, it will take some getting used to, and that includes adapting to the rhythm of the city, as I'm not used to it. I never had a chance to get used to it. I guess now I should. The released political prisoner is undergoing medical checkups. Like the majority of prisoners released from captivity, Asayev has developed dental problems. That aside, he seems to have no major health issues. According to Asayev, the hardest part was not seeing his friends and family for so long. He is now keen to meet with everyone. The first few days I kept thinking about my family. More than about myself, I was concerned about my mother and what she was going through. In a way, it was harder for her psychologically than it was for me. But then, throughout all that time, your mental state keeps transforming. After one month, it's different. And after five months, it's different again. And still different after a year. A person can adapt even to things that are completely unthinkable. The free Asayev banner was put on the balcony following the phony verdict of the Russian-controlled court in Donetsk. I was very bold in my expectations and claims when I said that, just like Roman Sushchenko, Stanislav will come and take down this banner himself. Even though I wasn't really sure this was going to happen, but it was something that I needed to believe. We'll keep it in our offices. This is our keepsake now. After the symbolic removal of the banner, Asayev held a book signing session for In Isolation. This compilation of articles about the Donbass was released while he was in captivity. Reported by Anastasia Fetchenko for UATV.